These are the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. As Jonah Strong turns the lights off, there's the spear connecting onto Ona. Cuz looking to push him out and will successfully do so. Now he has free reign on this top side. Ona actually having to go back and Cuz is going to pull the wave to make sure that Dudu is going to get this crash. Is the spear going to land? And is it even possible for it to miss? As nope. That's going to be the setup, but see, it's going to get pounced oh! on. They try to do it, and Owner is there to save him. So it should be a decent trade, as we are expecting Kwangnam to struggle with his bot lane as Zayus. Yeah, he's going to hit Minina once again, so he can now harass Dudu out. Dudu does have his Kaldameek. That's going to help that health bar go back up again. Now, Kuz with a spear is going to find Owner, steal away the dragon, and Andal's making his way in. They're looking to try and... Uh, Answer that first blood that Ona was able to take away, but the spear is going to miss. Generally, what you'd expect to get out is a, is a one versus one. Like, yeah. Cuz will die as Owner comes in, but that that's that though, as mentioned, really nicely done by Cuz, not losing his mental, as we know. This guy is very resilient, so ends up getting the Drake Steel and the Triple Grubs. So, kind of back on track in that regard with the Nidalee into Sejuan. Well, able to get in here. Uh, yeah, nose. There is no vision around here as Dudu is going to set up for it. Ona in here. The Spear not really connecting. There is the Mega Nar to come through, and Zayus just picks up the kill, and now Kuz is going to be in a whole lot of trouble. Looking to try and pounce his way out, but Permafrost is there. They throw down the boulder. He does get the Primal Surge, but it doesn't matter. Now Bulldog's in trouble as well, because Kerry is ganking the mid lane. t one just sort of everywhere right now. This wave is going to go down. Kuz still going to be able to look for some grubs here. That is going to be six on the docket if he's able to take these. It looks like there's going to be no Sejuani in the area. T1 will be able to collect themselves a dragon. Doesn't feel great. Uh, just grabbing a Chemtech. Still, it's not bad. And Cuz actually... Another? Yeah, wanting to come and over and act and uh, contest this one. Be the dragon going over. And good rotation as well here, actually, from Bulldog to catch that bot side wave uh, without giving up too many resources. Catch the wave and get the dragon as well. Now Cloud, Ooh, it's love that. solid. But really, if you're Kwangdong, I think you were looking for Hextech. Hextech could have been really, really big here, given the amount of poke that you have available. Uh, obviously, we're always going to appreciate Cloud, but there are teams where I feel like you get a lot more value out of this. Could be a thing, or could be not. Uh, Spear going to connect onto Carrier. Uh, Faker going to look for an option onto Andal, but he just presses the Eclipse button. He should be okay. Bulldog just trying to bounce around. There's him, Mini Nas, kind of susceptible. As uh, Spear once again connects, but this Rift Herald will belong to T1. True Shot Barrage, a little bit late, is going to do a bit of damage, but otherwise not too much. And Dudu, looking to try and grab some local gold, taking down this outer turret. And that is going to be first turret blood going over to the Renekton as well. Actually, kind of a big deal, trying to get him back into this game. Yeah, don't mind the call here. You see Kwangdong, they were already playing that with one foot, basically looks to be answering that. But uh, do know they did get four grubs. So at least gonna have a little bit of additional pushing power. That's yeah. uh, some ultimates gone though. We'll see. Guma just gonna pick this up, and particularly when you have your summoners available and when you have the BT, and that just feels like she rules the map with. Really nice. As uh, okay. Spear gonna connect onto Gumuji into the backline, but that's a great magnet storm onto Bulldog. Unable to actually finish him off as Faker ults in, doesn't quite find the ulti, and in fact will just go down. Leaper was right there and grabs himself the kill. That should be Soul Point going over to the Kwandong Freaks, but they'll have to sacrifice their outer turret in mid lane in order to get there. So Cuz will go on over, collect that dragon, that banana brush, but there are a lot of waves that need help, and so Kwandong Freaks should be able to get this. Wave needs to be caught, and there, the fact that Omdil makes it out and Faker overextends, and we saw this in the previous game as well, those ults, if he hits it, Look at the kill on Bulldog, but instead, uh, it's, it's, yeah. been, it's, been, it's been hit or miss. Uh, and I think mostly towards the miss column as Guma is... Uh, All of Flare coming in. It's a nice lot of damage fall. from Leaper as the Glacial Prison comes down. Bullet time is decent. Leaper actually having to get out of the way of that one. Andal's really dead. As Cuz realizing he's not going to be able to find an avenue in, and Leaper is still on the run. Zayus gets in there with a teleport, does have to invest that one, but this is an inner turret that they could theoretically be taking down, but instead, Ezreal says no. So easy for T1 to contest the mid-wave. 
I think it all comes down to whether Bulldog can string together oh. this Cosmic Drive as he's going to hop into Stealth. I think Owner actually spotted him just there. We did see yeah. the vision, but still, it's not enough to actually save this out of turret in mid lane. That is going to be collected by Leaper. Vision now of it, and Faker will be able to clear out this outer turret. That will answer. And Cuz on a ward here, as we can see. It's about to time out, but with Faker also pushing. I have to see if Guangdong, I think they need to pull the trigger and just start this Dragon Force Faker to TP, and otherwise, they're going to lose an inner. Well, Quantum Freaks, they have started it up. There Leaper we go. Just throwing a lot of abilities into it. Owner is going to get pushed back. He can wrap around in time, though, to go for a bit of a 50 50 as there's the teleport from Faker. Carrier going to get slowed down here as in position is Owner. There's the Magnus Storm, not exactly getting the most value as now Leaper is looking to push Faker away. Carrier is going to be taken down and say it. He will hit the Mega Nar, but he's not going to be able to stop this soul from going down. Faker is going to have to rebind his soul, and now he's 1v1ing against Sleeper. Meanwhile, Zayus is going to fall down, and the Quandong Freaks are going to win the fight. Oh, Faker taken down. Can't unbind the soul in time. And is that just Baron as well? Doesn't have his ulti, but can still do a lot of damage on this Aurora. Look at how fast he is. It's kind of nutty. True Shot Barrage not really going to do anything at all. Owner has as, flash. Yeah, Owner is still here. This is still really, really risky for the Quandong Freaks. They do have vision oh, now. Oh, at last. E1, can they save this? That's the question. Bullet time comes in. Oh. They're going to try and take it down. It's Luma that takes it. Of course it is. They have to sacrifice themselves. None of the Barons stay up. But if you, if we can't have Baron, you can't have Baron, says T1. And Dudu, man. Keep Zayus out of the... So Zayus did TP back in. He, he did. He might kill Cuz. That Primal Surge was pretty good. That is going to save him. Oh, situation there. Dudu is going to be taking an outer turret here on the top side of the map. And, and the splits continue with Aurora in the bottom. Line. As you're saying, there there is actually no Red Bull Baron Power oh. playoffs run. Leaper is playing real hard. It's okay. Kumiushi oh can get taken down really, really low. This is three items on the Ezreal. He is a big deal. And that is going to be in a turret taken. No Baron, but uh, yeah, still a whole lot of sieging power. To walk up to Midwave into an Aurora. Well, Owner is just going to go in. Glacial Prison does go wide as Faker eats a fair bit of damage there, but the Primal Surge is going to keep Bulldog so healthy. And now he's able to dash forward, finds the circle. Gumiushi is going to immediately flash out of it. And Owner, he cannot press Q to get out of that one. Still, Cuz will be eliminated. They trade junglers, but Faker is going to be taken down. And Dudu is an absolute monster. Bulldog! And that is into the back line. Bulldog, he's looking for Gumiushi, but he stays alive. And he's got the Bloodthirster, but I don't think he's got Crocodile Protection. That is not covered in his insurance policy. And there's a reason for it. Trisha Barrage not going to work out. Dudu is underneath a turret. Oh, I thought that maybe that was going to be enough, but they do waste enough time to at least stave up the game for now. But realistically, this is going to be both the Elder and the Baron going over to Kwangdong. Get even just the game for Kwangdong would make their chances of making play of so much better. Well, Zayus is being put into a circle with a bunny girl who is favored by the Dragon Lord. And Zayus is just going to have to try and kite it out as best he can. Andal's yeah, going to be time. here as well. The Baron is going to go down in the meantime. So Wallop coming on through doesn't really matter too much at all. And so Zayus will be falling. Cuz should be able to activate it with the red buff. And there it goes. Owner now out of position as well as Dudu should be able to lock him down. There's Zenith Blade for the setup, and Leaper grabs that kill himself. Faker is in the bottom lane, though. Gumiushi was setting up this inner turret in the mid lane. True Shot Barrage looking to try and cancel some of these backs, though. You can see he's going to sail past where Gumiushi was and not going to be able to hit Faker. So he gets back home. But now you've got an inhibitor down on the top side of the map, an exposed inhibitor here in mid lane as well. And Quanong Freaks, they are all business today. It's all about taking this one down. It's into the circle. They go Faker. It's going to be eaten by a dragon. That's three on the floor in the blink of an eye. And in the same amount of time, Quanong Freaks finish off the Nexus. They're 1-0 in this series and playoffs. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.